I was born in 93. And, and the day after I was born, I went into foster care. In 95, my mom got me back. And I lived with her until 97, when she was then deported back to Belize. I don't know my bio father. After my mom was deported, my stepdad became my legal guardian. My stepdad was an alcoholic. Not abusive, just drank a lot. I know he used to threaten a lot, like, oh, when he'd get angry, like, I'm just gonna call them, they can just come and take you away. So in 2004, he had this drunken, like, outburst, like, went into this rage in the grocery store. Then after that, we went into foster care. He never did anything to, like, get us back. Like, those were, like, were the seeds of worthlessness and emptiness, like this void in my life. That's where it all started. Moved around a lot every six months to a year. I couldn't stay put in one home. I didn't have no power, no control over anything in my life. And the social workers, you just pop up at your door, like random, like, oh yeah, like you're moving. Like what? Like I have school tomorrow. Like I have a test. Like I can't leave. Like I have friends. Like, you know, just being like ripped from like everything. And it's just like, you're here, then you're there, then you're here, then you're there. And you plant, like, you know, you might feel like a little comfortable, like you let your guard down. But then, you know, someone comes and just does something, and then they just shoot like right back up. There's no one that truly cared or like loved me. And I think that's all that I wanted. I just, just began to like lose myself before I even became anyone or anything. Peace for Kids, and another organization like Royal Family Kids Camp, like all these things I do, my church, these people, like they, they took me in and they like nurtured me. My castle worker, she was a volunteer at Peace for Kids. So I grew up knowing her. She's, she's one of those people that, that, that picked me up, like literally, but she was there like supporting me like all the way, like holding me accountable to make sure that I held my end to everything that I said, like I kept my word and I did what I needed to do, like got my, got the job done. She was probably like one of the first people was like, I care, like I want you to be successful. Like I want you to rise above the situation. Like you don't have to, to be down here. You don't have to, to be sad and be, and feel alone because like I'm here and I'm with you. Like growing up in foster care, like you burn bridges, you like build walls and you don't want anyone in. So to like 360 that and now like always wanting to like be around people and love people and value like my relationships to have those and just be able to thrive on them. Your past is what is what built you like now and that's why you're standing like now to this day because you endured all that and like here you are in this present and then now like you hold your future so you choose what you want to do with it.